Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In the previous video we went around and put uh, jack-o'-lanterns all around the base with leaves on top to try and mob-proof uh, mob the base and like the surrounding area around here. Uh, we also went to the jungle to get some uh, cocoa beans so plan for today is turning more making a farm edge cocoa beans uh, so I'm going to find the tutorial by cubfan135 and I'll bring you back when we found somewhere to build it. Right, I think this could be the ideal location. Uh, put it across this way. Uh, so I'm going to start leveling the area out. Uh, this height. Actually, I might do it on this side because it will save me again some more grass blocks and everything to level it out. So, I'm going to knock these out and I'll bring you back when we made some progress. Right, we now have the uh, founda foundation laid out. This is what we've got so far. So, now what we need to do is. I mean, this is the centre. I want. I'm only going to do a couple of rows because it's only a single-player world, and uh, so we don't need that much. But what I'm going to do now is figure out where everything needs to go. Ah, there it is. So I need to make some pistons. I need some iron. Uh, the cobblestone as well. Um, yeah, so, so we've got some more. Alright, I'm now going to get work get to building. And I'll bring you back when we've made some more progress. Right, this is pretty much done. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to the actual video that I've used. Uh, the only thing is, I've had to extend out a couple of blocks this way, which is no big deal. I'm not going to do it that side. Uh, I've got uh, two blocks if I just bring this over one and this over one, it should work out fine. Uh, but at the moment, uh, let's just get some bone meal. It's all working perfectly. So when this one grows up, basically, it uh, pushes the log along. That's all the bone meal I've got. So. That was clever. Let's just get some more. Uh, if I simulate this actually maturing, oh, why didn't you do that one as well? Ah, that's why. The boy was facing the wrong way, and it is again. better. That one's the right way. Uh, I need to put something right across the top of this so it doesn't uh, get stuck on top of the log like that one has. Uh, let's just, just do another one. Oh, just 
grow this one up. There, that's knocked all of them off. And because I'm only using these, just two of these, uh, the tutorial did have an extra part at the end to show how to do an automatic collection system uh, with Hopper Minecarts. And then it's linked off this one, I think there's a block underneath and some redstone on top of that then it works then to setting off a uh, hopper minecart to travel all around to pick them up but as I said because I'm only using a couple I don't see the need for for that just easier for me to walk around this that's it that's all I've got to do so I'm going to finish off the building work and I'll bring you back in a moment right I think the uh, exterior is done aside from the roof and this is what we got so I might just change these to stone because it doesn't look right so yeah it's gonna get changed the floor has been stayed the same and everything else is done. I mean, I can't hide that. That needs to be exposed. Uh, but it is working. You can see I've just done, just done a harvest. And it's working quite well. So, another project done and dusted. <sighs> Phantoms are back. Oh, yeah. Ooh, phantom head. Come on. My aim is awful. This is why I don't play uh, first person shooter games. <laughs> Alright, let's just pick up this XP. Alright, I'm going to change these to stone bricks. I'm going to use a white concrete on the ceiling though. Uh, but I think after this, what we need to st start work on is a mob farm of some sort. Especially creepers. Because that's one thing I'm always running low on is gunpowder and for rockets we need a creeper farm so I'm going to finish up this look up a few designs and see if there's anything that takes my fancy and then we're going to find somewhere to uh, start building so I shall see you in a little while right this is finished what I've done, put a little grass area around here, and then just like a little house as I've been building for the villagers, there yeah, just to cover up the redstone at the end. So that's done. As I said, now we're going to go and try and find somewhere where we can build a mob farm but before we do that I'm going to sleep through the night so we stop getting attacked by phantoms so there we go uh, I'll see you in a bit when we found somewhere ideal right I think ooh, there's a ship back over there uh, I think somewhere around here could be a good place to build one. Uh, I was thinking about building one up in the sky by the base, but I thought the one I built in the last season, which was right down at bedrock and was quite efficient because the way the game works. Uh, it does mob spawning from the bottom 
up. So if we go out and find a chunk over here, because this is all deep ocean, then there's not as many caves to light up. So if we can just find an area, dig down, and then we can build the sides up with glass and then we can uh, go about starting to drain it but I think to do that we're going to have to go and raid a ocean monument so we can get the sponges so I'm just going to mark out an area around here and then we'll go and find the nearest ocean, mo ocean monument just so we, well actually we're going to head back to the base to get some potions, water breathing potions. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to have a look at that shipwreck and make a marker of where we want to build things down here. So I shall see you in a little while. Right, I've uh, done one spell side of this, done another three to go but I've used up pretty much all my glass so we're gonna have to uh, head back to the base uh, well first of all we need to collect a lot of sand so we're gonna sleep through the night get some sand oh, get up in the air, come on there we go. And we're going to head back to the base. What? Well, sand, base, smelt, and then uh, make some water breathing potions so we can go uh, to an ocean monument. But I think that may have to wait till the next episode because we've got a lot to do just to get this all set up and ready. I would also like to get another beacon, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that this episode either. So, I'm going to go grab some sand, head back to the base. I think it's. It's that way. And I'll see you in a bit. Right, we now have all of this <coughs> uh, enclosed. So, Inside here is one chunk. Oh, let's just go and sleep through the night. If we can get up in the air. There we go. Uh, so what we, the plan now is we need to get a beacon and we need to close off uh, just put a ceiling we'll extend the floor up a little bit and then put something across then we can just dig down but as I say we need to get a beacon because it's only around 30 blocks deep I need to go but it will still take a while. So one thing I should have bought is an what they're called obsidian. So we could make a nether portal over here. But I do want to make one over there, but lower down. So we're going to leave this bed here, that can stay here. Let's put this glass away. Put that in there, I think there we go. Right, so now we are going to go to the nether to try and get some more wither skulls because that's something we don't have 
And we also need. Oh, there's a village there, I didn't notice that. Am I going the right. Am I going the right way? I don't know. <laughs> we shall find out in a minute. And so we'll quick mooch about here, see if there's anything worth taking. That's a tree. Nothing in that one. Nothing in there. Right, I'm going to have a look around it and I'll meet you back at the base. Right, welcome back. <coughs> Come through to the nether to get some uh, wither skulls. Well, I'll try and get some wither skulls. And come to another blaze spawner because I could hear the withers skeletons in this room. So now I'm trying my best to. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. That's so I'm trying my best to uh <sighs> I think I may need to go and get some fire resistance potions. So I'm trying to uh, clear out a bit of space in here, uh, but as you can imagine, they're not really leaving me alone. And they just keep spawning and spawning and spawning. So I'm going to try and do something about this, and I'll bring you back in a little while right we've got it blocked off now but um, what I want to do as you can see I've just dug down a couple of blocks here everything around it above is now uh, blocked off so have I got any bit of, bit of glass? So I want to make it so that they can only spawn in this little chamber. You need to get some slabs back. Back in there. I've managed to get one with the skull, so that's a bonus. The amount I killed, though, I was, was hoping to have got more. Right, that's directly underneath there. So now they can't get out. shouldn't be able to get out anyway. So because the wither skeletons are spawning in this little area, I've just created like a cut through back to where the other one is. So we're just going to slab this and hopefully, if they don't spawn, they don't spawn, it's not a problem. But as, as I say, I've got the um, one I've set up properly just down there, so that's not the end of the world. And then we can get in and out there. And we need some 
upstairs, which I should have in my nether box. Yeah. Let's just get these out. Right, I'm going to do this and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Alright, well, I've now finished this. All we have is just a little chamber where they fall into. And just so we have a walkway around between the different areas. So we could walk around now. You know. I didn't even see you there. You attack each other. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh dear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, they'll just drop down and we can run around and kill them. Just die. So, um, I'm gonna end the episode there because I'm out of time. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like. And if you've really enjoyed it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I shall catch you all in the next video. Goodbye.